Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to fold one-fifth of a square without measurements. So what you're going to do is you take your square and we already know how to fold one-fourth so that's pretty easy. So let's just say this is one-fourth of the square. And to find one-fifth, all you have to do is fold up here diagonally then fold this to here and this and you can actually do with this with a rectangle too so it doesn't really matter so this point of intersection if you folded a line through here this right here and let me just this thing the small line right here is exactly one-fifth of the whole square which is pretty nice because of the fact that Whenever you need to fold one-fifth, usually you take a ruler and you have to measure it. But with this trick, it's only a few folds and it's pretty easy to do. Now, the proof is the same as my last, a few videos ago, I, pu I published a video about how to fold one-third of a square. And this is almost the same as folding one-third of the square. And in my next video, I'll show how to fold one-nth of a square. So you'll know how to fold one eighth and no one seventh, like one sixth, one ninth, whatever you want to fold, like even one millionth of a square. Like it's really easy to do once you figure out how it works. But first I'm going to give you the proof for how to fold one fifth of a square. So let's go back to why did I just re erase my other one? Okay, I guess that works. Um, and then we have this thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna flip it this time. And this is our line going through. Okay, and we have to prove that this guy, this is one fifth. So we're gonna start as usual by assuming the length of the square is one. Well, this will make us easier for calculations for people who can't really do well with, you know, types of algebra. And it makes it clearer because there's less variables. So, first, we can obviously see that these triangles are simul similar because of the fact that these are parallel lines, so these angles are the same, and these angles are the same by vertical something theorem i forgot but i just know that these two are the same because any two crossing lines these two angles are the same but anyways back to what we were doing so we know that these two triangles are similar and we have to figure out what ratio they're similar than in though so we we see that this guy right here perfectly is this guy right here is one fourth, which is nice because now that we know that this guy is in the ratio of four to one. Now we will compare their altitudes from, uh, we'll compare their altitudes from this point right here. So I'm just gonna draw a line through them. So this point right here, we just drew an altitude and we see that this is in the ratio of 4 to 1. So we can say that this length is 4x and this length is 1x. And if we add them, it will equal 1. So if we do that, let's just do 4x plus x equals 1. And we get that 5x is 1. And therefore, X has to be one fifth and from that we are done because we see that since this is X then this has to be one fifth and the same applies for this right here this guy right here which means that this whole thing is just one fifth and we're done so for the next video or well, maybe in a few more videos, after a few more videos, I will be showing how to fold one nth of the square. And if you watched how to fold one third of a square and how to fold one fifth of the square, then you may have an idea how to do this already because you're seeing a pattern. So be sure to watch my other video 
on how to fold one third, and you might have an idea. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe, and go check out some of my other videos.